Minnesota Republicans and Democrats hold conventions this weekend to pick candidates up and down the election ticket. But getting the party endorsement does not guarantee that you will be the party's candidate by the time November rolls around. Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. A political party endorsement brings significant advantages, money, volunteers, voter lists. But history isn't always kind to party endorsed candidates and history may be repeating itself in 2018. Thank you. Former Republican Governor Tim Pawlenty won two close elections with the GOP endorsement. He's running for a third term now, but he's skipping the party. History shows the odds favor candidates who buck their party. Over the last 36 years, three of the last five governors ran for office and won against endorsed candidates of their party. I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of governor. Democratic Governor Rudy Perpich started the party bucking trend in 1982 and won. Republican Governor Arne Carlson so help me God. won the governor's office twice without party blessing. The next governor has reset the world. Didn't need an endorsement from Democrats or Republicans. Reform Party Governor Jesse Ventura foreshadowed Donald Trump, the anti party politician. In 2010, DFLers banned a member of their own party from their convention. Fellow Democrat Mark Dayton committed the sin of ignoring the party and won the election on his own. Because what binds us together is. Our principles. Minnesota politics are unpredictable every year. This year, setting up every bit like the last 40. That's reality check. Now, watch WCCO this weekend for continuing coverage of the conventions. Republicans will meet in Duluth, while Democrats will be in Rochester.